is going on guys, this is Anthony Clutch here and Excuse me, today I'm bringing you a new tutorial in Sim 40 It will be based on Nitro Blast and um, and uh, uh, yeah, create, helping you to create Nitro Blast Could affect him with Nitro Blast, sorry <coughs> And I'll be teaching you uh, this outcome And um, yeah guys, so um, let's just straight, jump straight into it so you know when I'm sitting at 4D and then your Lightroom. I was positioning the camera as it was before. <coughs> so once you've got your Lightroom open, you want to go to More Graph and then More Text. Position your text towards the middle and then you just want to go to Object and just name your text whatever you want. I just call it Migs. Um, and uh, the uh, font I'll be using is DIY Lava stuff. I'll put that in the description. Well, you can visit my previous videos. I've, sh I'm sure I've got that font on, so um, you can go down on that. And the so the depth of your text you want to change to 80, and then you want to go to caps. Your start cap to fill a cap, your end cap to fill a cap as well, and the radius to one, and the end radius to one as well. <coughs> and then you just want to go ahead and then drag a um, material on top of it. You can go ahead and put a black material or any other color you want, that, but this is my personal preference. So once you've done that, you want to control C, control V, your Motex, and then drag an atom array on top. Drag your Motex into the atom array, and then you want to change your cylinder radius to uh, 1, and your speed radius to 1 as well, leave everything else as it is. And then you want to go ahead and then add a slight glow to it. Um, this just kind of enhances it, like creates a nice outline, as you can see. <coughs> so once you've done that, you want to control C, control V, the original Motex. You want to go to Plugins, and then Griebler. Uh, drag a creeper into it and then you want to go to your base and the height you want to change to 0 and the max to 5 and the bevel to 0 and the um, max to 4 the stock griblers you can untick that and then you can go into your motex and then you want to go ahead and then click on the um, the type and then you want to click on quadrangles and then you go to regular grid and then you want to change the width to 5 <coughs> excuse me and then um, what will happen is that it won't create as much as the outline as it is because you've got Gribble on so you want to just click on your atom array and then you will click on this tab here it will open up four windows you, know, you want to go to this window here and just drag it slightly forward and so let's see that yep that looks pretty good so um, once you've got once you've done that you want to go ahead and then control C control V your motex and then you press C and then what I'll do is that will um, it will kind of make all your uh, Motex the each letter singular, so you so you can easy to edit. So you can just open up all these up and select all the area paths which we'll be using Reaper X on it. So just go ahead and do that. <coughs> so just go ahead, go to plugins, Reaper X, and uh, oh sorry, before I do that, you can duplicate it by pressing Control and just drag it down. And just do it once more. So you can drag your all your AI files into the the Reaper X. So once you've done that, you want to highlight all of your Reaper X's, and then you want to change the strands to, I'd say, let's see how one is. Yeah, you can do one, and your radius you can change to two, and the coils is completely up to you. Uh, I'll leave it as it is if I was you, and uh, but it's like how should I say this? Um, it's more of a press person preference. You just choose to mess around with settings if you want. I'll just go for 30 or 34 and the distance is completely up to you it's like you can choose to it to be scrambled or not that's up to you like I said again so what you want to do is you want to duplicate um, the Motex Control C Control V <coughs> just before you um, use um, Nitro Blast you want to go ahead and add a glow material to all your Reaper X's and then you want to click on your Motex and then you want to go to uh, Python. Now, the only reason I'm doing it through Python is because it's not in my plugins, as you can see here. So you go to Python plugins and then Nitro Blast Main, and then the um, quality to um, I'll try medium, and the the, the PC is going to set to 50 and the thickness to 2%. The fracture. Now, this error message only comes up for me because I somehow incorrectly installed Nitro Blast, but still it's perfectly for me. So um, this might not come up for you, which is a good thing. So let's get this. It's kind of annoying. <coughs> so once you've got all your nitro blast pieces done, 
um, you want to open up your Motex and you want to pull out all your Nitro Blast pieces out of it and delete the Motex. And once you've done that, you want to go ahead and open up each individual part of Nitro Blast. And open it up, click on and open up Main, and then open up Dynamic. Well, what that is, you'll see all your pieces. And before you start, you want to go to MoGraph and then you want to go to Fracture, and you want to drag all your pieces uh, into the um, Fracture. <coughs> so I'll just do it for all the um, all the other pieces. So uh, I'll be back once I've done. So yeah guys I'm back and as you can see I have all my pieces into the fracture. So now what I'm gonna do is I need to add a material. I'm gonna choose a black material and now for this um you wanna instead of yeah instead of um dragging all your materials into the pieces like one individually you can just click on the first one and if I scroll the way down and then you wanna um uh, hold shift and then click on your last one and then you want to right click on the material and then click apply what I'll do is I'll just turn it auto black as you can see so once you've done that you want to make sure you've highlighted the fracture and then go to MoGraph effector and then random and you'll see it scrambles up your pieces and now here you can choose to mess around with settings while in the, uh, with the par parameter clicked you can go to scale you can you can change the size of it mess around with that and the rotation choose to mess around with that as well it's completely up to you now for this part, I'm going to go ahead and then uh, get a null and highlight both your random and fracture, drag it into the null and now I'm going to go and grab a Griebler and then uh, drag uh, your null into the Griebler and now you want to go to your base and it's mostly the same settings as you did for the um, first part of the uh, tutorial just now and the height, um, you want to change to 0, the uh, max to 5, the bevel to 0 and the max to 3 or four, depending on the outcome you want. And start Griebler's, you want to untick the generate Griebler's. And now I'm just going to go ahead and just rotate this and then position it. So I'm going to get the rotational tool and just rotate it to about say 40, 45, hopefully. And now I just angle the camera a bit. Excuse me. I'm just gonna tilt that bit down. Okay, now let's see how that looks. Yep, that looks pretty alright. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the Griebler and open up the null, and I'm just gonna quickly just adjust all these settings. I'm going to choose 15 and 15, so the H to 15, the B to 15. Okay, and I'm just going to angle the camera. And I'm just going to scale it a bit up to try and make everything visible if I can. change the P15 see if that does any difference well it just adjusts it a bit I'll just scale that a bit more okay I'm now gonna render that out yeah so uh, yeah so yeah guys while well, that's rendering out I'll yeah, I'll pause the video and I'll be back once the render's done. So yeah guys, um, I'm back and as you can see the render's done. And it's given a really nice outcome. So um, yeah guys, hope the tutorial was helpful. And uh, hope you can make something cool for Nitro with Nitro Blast. And um, hope uh, this tutorial, tutorial was sufficient for you. And if you have any other tutorial requests, um, please do them in the comments below. And I'm just hoping to do a modeling tutorial as my next tutorial. Or a background tutorial. 
I've just got so many ideas and I just want to get to tutorial as fast as I can. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you next time. Peace.